And, and, and for the people that want to see all of these laws, like I said, uh, kyanimalwelfare.com. There's a list of them on here, unfortunately. But we still don't have a hot car bill. You that, know. That's that, that's one thing I was about to bring up that still blows my mind. Mm-hmm. That if you see an anim, a, a cat or a dog or any type of animal in a very in a hot car on a very very hot day with no air conditioner running, no water, no food supply, nothing, there's nothing you can do. Well, call the state police. You know, first call your local and then call the state. I'd call them both at the same time. Yeah. But, and but but unfortunately, I mean, sometimes it takes the police forever to get. The, yes. Yeah. I mean, yes. and document. You know, go Facebook Live. I'm sitting here in blah, blah, parking lot, and this car has a dog in it that we can't find the owner. You know, bring public attention to it, you mm. know, and then maybe somebody will do something. Yeah, I, I, I'm just one of those. Of course, you can always just break the car window yourself. And I'm, just, I'm, run. I'm that person. I'm that person. Like, I, I just, if I know that time is of the essence and I can see them on the verge of death. I'm not going to call the cops. I'm just going to bust the window. You know, I'm but, a clumsy person. I can fall with a hammer in my hand and land against somebody's car. And it happens. I tripped on a shoelace. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, but but really, and I, the uh, the bill that they're trying to pass that has to do with that, it w- the per- like nothing would happen to the person. The right? person couldn't be held criminally liable. You know, yeah. it's you know if you're stupid enough to leave your animal in a car on a hot day with the windows rolled up and no air. You need to pay for that car window. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot. Yeah, and we're not talking about the people that are just running for a minute or two or yeah. anything like that. I mean, the, the people that's just pure out neglect. Yeah. And also, I mean, it it does not take long. No. At all. No. I, I was, uh, I had to wait for Heather to go into a store or something like that, and I was just trying to save on gas one day, and I'm turn the car off and it, it wasn't 10 minutes i was drenched in sweat yes. and it, it just like and that hit my mind yes. like i mean if if i'm this bad off imagine an animal not even 10 minutes 10 minutes in a covered with car. hair and not able to sweat you yeah. know it's 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 even worse and um it happens all the time and, and people don't and when they do finally come out i've read they was like well i was only gone five minutes no you were gone 30 minutes you know yeah. they, you lose track of time when you go in a store and why bring your dog? Why bring your dog if you're going to leave it in the car yeah. and walk away? Just leave it at home where it's comfortable and leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I do love the car that I have right now because I can like I can take the keys with me mm-hmm. and uh, leave the car running and oh. lock the doors and mm-hmm. stuff so I can bring raisin everywhere. It's there cool. you go. There yeah. you go. And make a little sign that says Arizona so when I don't come by and break the windshield. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't now, fall now, into your windshield. Now, now, now uh, I've seen some people do that and, and that they'll they'll have fun with. Like he's listening listening to the new Chris Stapleton CD uh, or something. Your dog like is that. fine. He's chilling. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And, and you know, take your dog places if you can take care of them. You know, just yeah. use some common sense. People don't think a lot of times. They don't think how hot that car is going to get. But then you got to open it and get back in it. You know how hot it is. 